I am y'all. It's my y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, so if you know me and my Uta journey well, you'll be extremely shocked by what's on the screen right now. Yes, this is audacity. I spent so much of my career just railing against audacity. And please do not mix in audacity. Your mix might sound just as good as my mix in Reaper, but I spent five minutes on it and you spend five hours on it. Please do not mix in audacity. And if you need another video on how to do Reaper, just noom noom, hit me up, I will do it. Because I really, really want people to not waste time. <laughs> anyway. The reason I have Audacity is because for specific use cases, it's the best. I don't know any other way to just drag and drop from iTunes and convert the um, Apple's proprietary file format to something you can use for everything else. You just drag and drop from iTunes into Audacity export you're done super easy and the other thing is well i don't actually know any other way to edit the sound files to an insane degree and i'll show you what i mean coming up but this video is working on uh, Midisei. Midisei is a, uh, and this might not even be the right word. It might be a Genjika, but I'm calling her Jinriki. This is a Jinriki made of Miriam Stockley's voice. The primary source was an Italian or Spanish or Romanian, I don't know, song of hers called A La Notte, but there were some phonemes that I had to take from Song of the Seahorse. If this works out the way I think it will, and so far if this works, the only issue is the fact that, um, the ooh does not sound good, and the mm does not sound good, but I think I can look over that because of how much time I spend with 2010 banks. I've already exported this one. one second. <coughs> Excuse me. I just drink a diet soda. Now, I know it's not ladylike to burp like that, but gosh darn it. <laughs> Yeah, I've already exported this one, so now I just need to import this one. So, basically, I don't really know another program where you can just do that. Um. It's not nearly as important for affricates as it is for liquids. So there's not really much to do here, so let's play this. But it does sound really awkward not taking care of this for even for plosives and affricates. And please don't call me out for using the wrong word. There. Yeah. It's funny because I've already done two liquids and I didn't think to record that. Now, Audacity is not nearly as fun and simple as reapers. So that's kind of why I'm like, 
the middle. So, right now you're seeing that I am just getting rid of pa the pause because here's a life lesson about gin rookies. Never crossfade. You are never allowed to crossfade. It will sound horrifically bad, especially if the um, samples you're using end up being different pitches. Let's actually use the envelope tool. Alright. I'm gonna use the envelope tool just... It, it's hard to use. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is hard to use. <laughs> I'm hoping this doesn't mess with anything because this is difficult to you. Okay, that one is close enough to get already. This one needs help. Mm. So, if I need to go to Audacity eventually to take care of all of this stuff, you might in fact be wondering why not do it all in Audacity. And the reason is just, this is painful. Like, uh, this actually is painful for me. <laughs> I... So, in Audacity... The issue is just really eh, work, dang it. Um, let me try to figure out how to rephrase this. Alright, so. With, um, okay, so basically what I was doing in Reaper, I found the correct, I found the correct files, right? Well, not files. <laughs> I found the correct I found the correct phonemes that I needed, and then all I had to do was line up the vowels and then put the consonants in front of them. And I had it lined up. By the time I rendered, there were like 52 tracks, I think. And I just pressed one button, it rendered everything, and it took so little time or whatever because I was actually ended up duplicating the tracks and just plopping down the things and the odos are pretty dang uniform to begin with. Um, 
I don't think you can see the context menus, but I'm just going to amplify and I'm going to amplify it by like five. And then I'm going to use control R to amplify each one of these. Just so it will. Oh, dang. I don't, I really hope I didn't accidentally use an, a T for a D. That would be a mess. Alright, now, like I was saying, I don't know another program where you can specifically do that. So you see what I did? <laughs> I actually matched up the waveforms. And I forgot to make it, make one for zoo. Uh, and let's see, that is the issue. So if we do that, all right, and we can see this issue right here. Just wanna zoom in a little f closer, and we want to match this to that. And how's that sound? Now this is the issue right here, and we'll just will I. No, that's not good. Um, now that took forever for something that's extremely not noticeable, I think. Like, I had to look at the waveform to figure out there was a problem or whatever. This obviously is a T and I messed up, but please don't blame me. I did not have the lyrics. I was going in blind. And I do think I have some form of auditory processing disorder where it's like ear dyslexia. I just have such a hard time um, processing things. And someone can say something and I'll hear like the diff, something completely different. And <laughs> I don't like watching English shows with closed captioning. Like, I'm all for subtitles in different languages and when it can't be heard, but I basically have the button combination memorized for closed, to turn on closed captioning because I'll just hear something and it'll make no sense. Like, if someone says something I didn't expect... I just won't understand it. I haven't been diagnosed for an auditory processing disorder, but like, it just, you know. It's kind of like, what's the point? I made it through school with good grades. 
dropped out of college, but there you know. That's life for you. Tempted, 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 tempted. You can't see what I'm doing right now. Can you see what I'm doing? You can't. Alright, so I'm going to copy this and we're gonna open this in Uto just to see how bad it is. So I have it open in with O, and I'm just gonna play through this. It's in your own frequency file. <sighs> yeah, I think that's perfect, actually, especially considering things to consider. So yeah, basically, the number one thing you want to do is to just make sure that you cut it at the same phase so that it basically just seamlessly cuts together. If I made the F's more unpronounced, I do think it would make it like way more noticeable <laughs> that they're not Japanese F's. They're European Fs. Yeah, I'm tempted. Oh, and you're probably wondering why there's just all this space at the end. And that is so because I was using Reaper. <laughs> that was there so that I only had to export once. Because if I didn't include the empty space right here for the mm, consonant for the VC, I would have had to export it twice, and that's no fun. Okay, this is bad. I am going to change tempo. Oh, uh, no wait. Effect, amplify, 15. Yeah, I'm... Again, this probably isn't a voice. This probably isn't a voice. Just need to do this. Nope, wrong one. Okay, how does it help if I go to effect, change tempo, move it four? That sounds a little better. Why do I keep pressing the wrong thing? Mm. 
I have no idea. No idea why it's doing this. I said to change tempo and it's just getting smaller? And I think it is kind of helping a little bit. So, um, Miriam Stockley has, in fact, um, okay, so there's this kid who I never learned the name of, and it's a little unfair to call him a kid, because I think I might actually be almost the same age as him, but he is obsessed with uh, the Vocaloid Miriam. And there is a chance that he willfully misinterpreted her, which would stink, but if you can trust him, then, um, if you can trust him, and I don't know if you can or not, um, Miriam has consented to having a Japanese uto made of her voice. And I really hope that it wasn't a misinterpretation. Because I'm making this off of the assumption that it was actually... She actually consented. So this doesn't fall under the Uto Terms of Service. Do not make an Uto of people who do not consent. Because if Miriam Kidd isn't lying, she has consented. Another reason to use Reaper over Audacity, you can undo things you didn't like. <laughs> and I don't mean undo it um, immediately after and you realize it's bad. I mean after an hour of realizing you made a mistake, you can just undo it. <laughs> Alrighty! I think that's good enough. Now, I actually didn't know how to do this. Palatalized consonants, a lot of American Uta users will just read the Ramaji and be like, Pia, Pia, but it's actually palatalized, which means your tongue goes bit back to the back of your mouth. So, Pia. And, um, maybe it's my auditor. <laughs> I love how I just brought this up randomly twice, but, you know, like, my auditory processing issues in that it does sound, like, exactly the same if you don't know better. Does this have... So I just kind of cut it up in a specific way where 
Um, there was the Y. I used Y. I'm putting way less effort into this one, but it's close enough, I think. Once you get rid of the gap. So, basically, I think the best way to explain this is that Audacity is not a digital audio workstation, and Reaper is not an audio editor. It sounds really funny. But that's basically it. Like, you can't fine-tune work on audio in Reaper, and you can't, like, mix. With any degree of, like, certainty, I guess? In Audacity. Did I forget the why there? I think I did. Dang it! Um... Yeah, I did. Dang it. Dang it to heck. And it's sad because that's really good. Um, wow, I thought I was working on P already. <laughs> I look back and I'm like, oh, okay. I think this just shows. Just shows. There is a click somewhere. Um, gonna zoom, zoom, zoom. It's accurate of the clip. Makes it worse. It's such a little thing. Why am I okay? Stop obsessing over it, May. Stop obsessing. Okay, but you know, this is like yeah. Okay, I got I got to give up. I got to give up. This <laughs> Okay. And it's it's like so dumb that I was putting so much effort into making it sound right and not having a click. But then, you know, it sounds like pia. It don't sound like gya. And it's like, okay, I mean, I mean, yeah. 
And fun fact, this is a breath and not an H because if it was Italian, there is no H in Italian. Okay, this one should be super duper easy. Just... Eh. Bunk. Try to find my face. So yeah, actually, for the VC, there's actually not that much you need to change. And the VV, I could change it, but I'm like, nah, nah, no, nah, nah, don't feel like it. Um, because I do like, instead of going, ah, uh, she goes, ah, uh, e. So yeah, <sighs> how long has it been? How long has it been? 31 minutes. But I didn't expect that actually. Like, it doesn't feel like it's dragging or whatever, so when you see how long it's been, you're kind of like, oh, I'm wasting my time, aren't I? There's so many years we have on this earth, and I could be doing almost anything. Nah. Again, this is an issue with palatalized consonants. Um, there actually is. When you say hue, 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 that's a palatalized consonant. So it does exist in English. And I can give you an example of a palatalized H in English, but the thing is, like, a palatalized consonant, a palatalized H is not hue, hue, hue. Not just hue, but in um, some dialects, it's straight up. Um, I can't do it right now. He, he, the. Yeah, close enough. Close enough. I am I have so much trouble with J versus Y <laughs> because Ya Yu Yu Ye Yo is in phonemes is J A J E J U, but in Romaji it's <laughs> Ya Yu Ye Yo actually uses the Y, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Yay, now we export that as wave. Save. Yes. Okay. Okay. Effect. No. Wrong light effect. Amplify. Maybe like 2.8. What happens if I affect change tempo? How's that sound? Processing everything. It's like, you know, like mine. Then we'll just go back here. Nine. Yeah, you had no idea what I typed, <laughs> what I choose on the amplify thing. I chose like nine. <laughs> like okay change it to nine change it to nine but without the context you might have been like why is she saying no <laughs> So that's not a palatalized K, but basically one of the things I decided was that I was in fact going to base this off of someone who didn't understand Japanese phonology entirely and was just a basic average Udbao user overseas. Just need to grab this and effects amplify. We'll just go to negative 0.7. That's good. Now
I should have done that for all of them, but you know what? You know what? This ain't meant to be perfect. It's meant to be a Jane rookie. Owls <laughs> wave. Save. Okay. Let me see how many left I have. <sighs> For CV 17! Yay! And how many did I get done in this time? 11. I'm, I'm almost halfway there. And then... Uh, oh my gosh. Goodness. I forgot to render the L line. I need to do that ASAP. That's why it wasn't showing up in the auto. Oh no. But there's only 11 um, VC and the only one I th ones I really think I need to fix are in fact the liquids. Which would just be raising the volume maybe? The next time I make a Jane Ricky like this, I am legit going to make sure and process the the liquids in the same way I process the vowels, just so that they sound better. <laughs> anyway, so I am going to go render off the L line. You can't see that it's not rendered but it isn't and I have to go fix that and then I just have to do 18 more of the CV Woo! and then I'm good for most of the VC but I'll listen and try to fix it um there is a chance I definitely I'll look at yeah, you know what, there's, yeah, I don't, I don't know what people want. I'll get to, I'll experiment with fixing the VV so that it's not actually just, you know, like, a pause. So, yeah. Um, usually, I would actually um, stop the video here and then continue this in another video, but really... Other than me having a conversation with all of you guys and having fun and all that stuff, like, there's really nothing more to learn. Maybe it would have been nice if I had shown, um, an actual liquid, but, you know, yeah, I haven't done a liquid. Weird. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's, um, we're gonna skip to doing M just so I can show you a liquid. So, wait, did I have to do M? No, I didn't. Alright, so, the first issue is simply we need this M to um, affect amplify nine and I think this is especially what I meant about needing to um, process them I think I did have to re to change the right in Reaper to make it work. I pressed Control R and I said G. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I don't think fixing that will do anything good. X. Yay! Why doesn't that look amplified? Um, okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not that one. You can be a little too overzealous sometimes. <laughs> Okay, that sounds weird. Why is that different from that one? Okay, we're just going to cut you off because you sound weird. And then we're gonna come here, take this, paste it back here, and then And that should be good. And this one. And that should be good. And this one. Again. That should be good. So. I mean, I should have shown what it sounded like beforehand, but that would be extra effort. <laughs> okay. Um. Now that just sounds bad. Okay, what about change tempo? And just amplify it a tiny bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Just, you know, 3.8. And then take this. Take that. It's not perfect. It's not even that good, but... Um... <sighs> uh, a new track. Yeah, a new mono track. And paste that there, and we'll get rid of this. I'm going to effects, amplify, bye bye. And now on this one, we will pull out the envelope so that, you know, like. There. That's not good, but you know what? We live with it. We live with it. Alrighty! Now, wasn't that fun? Alright, so yeah. Basically, that was just running through, fixing up some stuff. It's not taking nearly as long as I thought it would. There's going to be issues still. Especially the vowels not being consistent. But gosh darn it, guys. What do you expect? This ain't someone recording. This is a dang Jen Ricky. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'll continue on with this. And that's that. And I think I will make another one of these from the song that I got some extra phonemes from. So anyway, 
And I do need to add the DZ line. Z line, which I'm not looking forward to. Anyway. Bye.